here at Western by enrolling in advanced courses in Italian culture along with young opera singers or perhaps have an internship uh, in this uh, collaboration. With the Centro Studi Opera Omnia uh, Luigi Boccarini in Luca, Italy, as Western's European partner, the summer program will be launched this year and take place in late July, early August in the Villa Medici Giolini outside of Milan. The envisioned involvement there in this program uh, with our students in modern languages and literatures could make this a memorable platform experience uh, for their programs. Uh, so this is just some of our uh, sort of uh, bigger involvement. Without further ado, I'd like to uh, ask Professor Vladimir Tuman of our undergrad chair who will speak to you a little bit about the history of our Italian. Buonasera a tutti. Mi chiamo Vladimiro Tumanovo. Adesso io voglio parlare italiano, but I will speak English uh, to make sure that everybody understands, and myself included. So in, um, I'm going to give a brief history of uh, Italian at Western. In 1997, uh, after a hiatus of several years, Italian was reintroduced uh, to Western, uh, with language courses being offered uh, in the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures, initially by a faculty member from Spanish, I guess that was close enough at the time, um, but uh, the courses proved so popular that in 1999, a faculty member was hired to teach Italian uh, with more full-time and part-time faculty following in the early years of the new millennium. In addition to language courses from beginners to advanced levels and already existing courses in the Comparative Literature and Culture program on Dante, the Renaissance, the Baroque, uh, new courses uh, were introduced including a full year course on Capitals of Italian Culture in 2004 and in 2006, uh, two new half courses on the Italian literary tradition, the first covering the medieval, renaissance and baroque periods, and the second period uh, covering a romanticism to postmodernism. Then a fourth year course, uh, Italian language and culture, also came on stream that year, uh, with an initial enrollment growth of some 20% annually. More sections had to be added to our Italian language courses year after year, and courses on Italian cinema and on um, uh, Italian, uh, and, Itali and also an annual Italian film series uh, became part of the offerings. By 2004, some 300 students were enrolled in courses on Italian language, literature, and culture. And finally, the big breakthrough was a minor in Italian studies, which was introduced uh, with great success. Today, I'm happy to report that Italian is the second biggest language after Spanish that is taught in the department. And so I would say that His Worship the Mayor uh, was absolutely right in saying that Italian is the second official language of this city, if, this, if the university is anything to judge by. Uh, Now, the plan is to expand, just like the Romans, and add a major in Italian studies in the near future, which is something that our students have been demanding for years. With award-winning Italian instructors, uh, a growing number of study abroad opportunities, uh, such as the study in Siena, where we send students every summer with great success, uh, a brand new exchange program with Verona, we hope more scholarships and bursaries in the coming years will be coming our way, and take that as a hint. Uh, the future looks bright, as far as I'm concerned, for Italian studies at Western, uh, at a time when languages, especially Italian, elsewhere in Ontario and across Canada, are cut back by university administrations, as we've heard. And so, as undergraduate chair, I would like to thank you all for the tremendous support that you're showing for our Italian program by attending this wonderful event tonight. I would also like to thank the organizers for this excellent idea, and obviously uh, Pietro Pirani. Uh, and since I am uh, the only thing now standing between you and the main course, I will stop here for fear of being eaten. <laughs>
Buonasera, esteemed colleagues, dignitaries, students, family and friends. Uh, my name is Mark Powell. I'm very pleased to be here today with you and uh, to be part of such an important and, in my opinion, long overdue initiative uh, for both the Atomic Studies program at the University of Western Ontario, but uh, as well as for the local Italian community here in London. Italian has played a significant role in my life. Uh, this past June, I graduated uh, from the Italian program here at Western, where uh, I do have the great and sincere privilege to teach my own first year Italian class. A uh, few of them, I believe, are here today in the back. Uh, but um, along the way, along my journey, many have questioned why I would study Italian. Um, now, I also graduated from Western's French program, uh, the French Language and Literature program at Western, but my reasoning for studying French was really questioning French being one of Canada's two official languages. Uh, so studying French was understandable, but why study Italian? Being unica do canadese, myself, my reasons could be considered slightly biased. I wanted to keep my family's culture alive, uh, keep it well flourished, and keep it from disappearing. Nonetheless, regardless of one's origins, uh, studying a country's language and literature means to absorb that country's culture. Of course, many practical skills can be gained through such a study. Uh, I've learned to uh, analyze a text, I've learned to contemplate its meanings, I've learned to uh, explain my findings and opinions in oral and written formats in more than one language. So I think we can agree that these are all fundamental skills that one can apply directly to almost any sort of career or any uh, career choice. More importantly, studying the Italian at Western uh, has allowed me to tap into the realms of history, culture, literature, politics on an international scale. And uh, thanks to our Chine Club, Italiano at Western, I've also been able to watch some of the greatest classics of Italian cinema, such as La, La Dolce Vita, I believe we watched it this past Tuesday. And uh, it's a Chine Club we drive almost every two weeks at the university, the admission is free, streamed in the original Italian with English subtitles. So all are welcome, feel free to join us. Uh, but uh, I've also been able to, to be part and uh, be part of a community at Western, which I think is rare. But um, lastly, I'd say that I've been able to meet a passionate, caring, and welcoming people who, by means of uh, immigration, have given life, uh, color, and warmth, I think, to Canada. I think it's important, though, to mention that one doesn't learn always on his or her own, so I'd like to thank a few people who have helped me along the way and who continue to do so. So I'd like to thank my former profs, who I now get to uh, teach beside and maybe annoy every once in a while. So, uh, Maria Bionita, if she's here today, Roberta Cauti Santoro, Yuri Sangali, Pietro Pirani, um, Cristina Carecchini, and of course, uh, Il Babbo Italiano of our Italian program here at Western, my mentor and good friend, Luca Pocci. Luca, um, Luca, Luca, Dai, Su. Dunque, grazie di vero cuore Luca e uh, sarò sempre uh, a tua disposizione. Grazie. Ma non la domenica, eh. il giorno per Dio. Ma... What else would I like to say? Of course I'd like to thank my family, especially i miei nonni, who have been by my side since the beginning. So again, grazie grande, è vero. Uh, Grazie a tutti, sinceri, per il cuore, a voi due, anche alla famiglia, zii, mimi, mom. E, uh, and that's about it. So hopefully, you know, my reasons have convinced you of the importance of such a program. If not, uh, feel free to find me 
when we have more time, we have about five minutes up here, and I'd be happy to give you a few more. But uh, I'd like to end with saying that thanks to the talent program at Western, it's now easy to see why Italians have blood in their sangue, la passione in sangue, and uh, why Giuseppe Verdi once said himself, you can have the entire universe if I can just have it. And uh, that's it, grazie mille. Enjoy the rest of the evening and enjoy our hospitality. Thank you and have a good day.